All new at 6, there was a big cheering section out there for a couple running the Boston Marathon early. In fact, one week before Marathon Monday, they took on the full course today. That's right. It wasn't just to beat the crowds of Marathon Monday. WBZ's Paul Burton explains the special reason why they were out there today. Go! For every step Caitlin Kylie takes, her boyfriend, Matt Weatherby, is there in support. In fact, the two have been supporting each other through love and perseverance. When I get my mindset on something, I'll do it. I'll find a way to get it done. The longtime Somerville couple ran the entire Boston Marathon on Monday. WBZ followed them along the 26.2 mile course with family and friends by their side. Boston Bruins Hall of Famer Ray Bork and the Frady's family were among the crowd. We caught up with them on Heartbreak Hill. I just hope Kate finishes intact. I'm good. I'm just happy that everyone's here. I'm thinking about how he gets up every day and, um, you know, tries so hard just to do the simple functions in life. 13 then. Weatherby is paralyzed after he suffered a severe spinal cord injury during a pickup basketball game two years ago. Although they did not qualify for the marathon in time, the couple decided to run a week early so they could still support their cause, a place called Journey Forward, where Weatherby goes to rehab four times a week. They crossed the finish line on Boylston Street with thunderous applause and a mountain of tears. All my family and friends are here. It just feels amazing. Their race, sponsored by Hot Shot, helped raise $25,000 for Journey Forward. Yeah, anything is possible if you, know, if you put your mind to it and you take it day by day. And it felt like the longest point to ever, <laughs> but <laughs> having all my friends and family behind me was so much fun. Caitlin and Matt finished the race in exactly five hours and 28 minutes. A huge accomplishment. Now it's time to celebrate and then back to work. Matt's goal is to one day walk again. In Boston, I'm Paul Burton, WBC News.